Wild parsnip is an invasive and harmful weed that can grow in various environments, including roadsides, meadows, and gardens. The sap of this weed can cause rashes and blistering if it makes skin contact, so in this video, we'll show you how to identify this weed, how to get rid of it from your property, and how to prevent it from growing back. To shop for the products featured in this video and to learn more about lawn care, click the links in the video's description and get free shipping on your order. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Wild parsnip is a relatively short-lived plant. It grows for about two years. During the first year, its rosette stage only grows up to six inches in height. During its second year of growth, the plant bolts and produces flowers, growing up to six feet tall. It has a thick stem, and the leaves have toothed edges that slightly resemble celery leaves or parsley. The plant produces yellow flowers in umbrella-shaped clusters before it produces seeds. Sometimes you may find the plant's pale white taproot peeking out from the ground. Wild parsnips look similar to other weeds, like wild carrots, also known as Queen Anne's lace. Although they can both be considered weeds, it's important to distinguish between the two as that will affect your approach to treatment. The simplest way to tell wild parsnips from wild carrots is to observe the colors of the flowers. Wild parsnips have yellow flower clusters, while wild carrots have white flower clusters. When not flowering, wild parsnips grow taller with thicker stems, while wild carrots are shorter with thinner, more delicate stems. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what to look for, check around your property to confirm the weed's presence or find activity hotspots. Wild parsnips tend to grow where it's sunny, along roadsides, in open fields, or in other disturbed areas. The plant prefers moist, alkaline soil, but it is capable of growing in a wider range of conditions. Look around your property and take note of where wild parsnips are growing or where they can grow. Look for their yellow flower clusters, thick stems, or tap roots if they're exposed. Look for their rosettes if the plants are young and newly established. If you find short rosettes closer to the ground, then the plant is within its first year of growth. Taller plants that have bolted and are producing flowers are within their second year of growth. After identifying your weed and inspecting your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. Be cautious around wild parsnip. Contact with the plant, especially with the sap from the stem, can cause rashes and blisters. To eliminate wild parsnip from your property, you'll need to use an herbicide like 2,4-Diamine. This product is a selective herbicide that is used to kill broadleaf weeds without harming turf grass. For most applications, we recommend you mix and apply this product with a handheld pump sprayer and that you use a surfactant like Nanotech to enhance the effectiveness of this herbicide. Before any application, calculate the square footage of your treatment area. Use this value to determine how much product to use. 2,4-Diamine is an emulsifiable concentrate, so it will need to be mixed with water before application. To treat wild parsnip, the application rate of this product is 2 to 3.16 pints of product distributed per one acre. For smaller applications, this breaks down to 0.72 to 1.1 fluid ounces distributed over 1,000 square feet. Remember to use enough water to provide adequate coverage. For a space of 1,000 square feet, one gallon of water should be sufficient. If you're adding nanotech surfactant, mix in one fluid ounce into your one gallon solution. Spot treat any wild parsnip plant you've found during your inspection. Use a fan or cone spray pattern to ensure the leaves are fully coated and spray the weed to the point of wet but not runoff. Be sure to spray on calm days when temperatures are not too hot and when wind speeds are low to minimize drift. When applied properly, affected weeds will yellow and begin to die. Applications are most effective when the plant is budding before seed production. A follow-up application may be necessary if signs of recovery are observed, especially if the plant's taproot is still alive. Based on the application site, reapplication intervals range from 21 to 30 days. Prevention is essential to keeping weeds in check. Even after applying herbicides, the best way to stop weed activity is to ensure it can't happen. One of the best ways to control wild parsnip after it's been eliminated from your property is to mow it down if new plants start to sprout. When mowing lawns, simply mow regularly to the grass's proper mowing height. 
Removing parsnip plants before they can produce seeds will stop them from spreading onto your property. We also recommend promoting the health of your turf to reduce the conducive conditions that allow weeds and disease to take hold. Reduce the shade cast on your lawn by trimming overgrown shrubbery and tree branches, rake away leaf litter and pick up any debris, and employ a proper watering schedule to provide the local grass with enough water to strengthen its roots, but not so much that will encourage weeds. Many grasses require one inch of water every week. Apply the water all at once in the morning so it has time to seep into the ground without evaporating in the sun. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop weeds like wild parsnip from taking over your grass, and we offer fast, free shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.